Hi, Mark Heath here, and in this video, we're going to carry on our look at various methods in MoreLink by looking at two of my favorite methods, which are MaxBy and MinBy. Now, you may be aware that uh, Link has got a Max and a Min method. So here I've got a very simple um, array of people, which has just got five names in it. And I can use the existing Link uh, method to find what is the maximum length of a name? So if I say people.max and then a, a lambda expression that's looking at the length, we'll see that the maximum length of a name is five, um, which is a useful method. Uh, but what if I didn't want to know the length of the maximum, na the maximum name length? What if I actually wanted what is the name that has the maximum length? And that's really what max by does for you. So instead of max, we say max by, and we pass the um, calculation that's working out a value for each item. We're just getting the length. If we then do this, we get max by, and it returns the longest name, which is Annie. If I do min by, it's going to find the shortest name. Now, if I did min on this list, I'd get three as a result because there are two names in here um, with the value of three, but it would just tell me that the um, the minimum is three. But if we look at what we get from min by, we're actually getting an I enumerable, which has got both the shortest names in it. And that's again, really useful. There are some circumstances where you might actually want to see all of the minimum or all of the maximum values in your input sequence. But if you only did care for the first one, you could always just put a first here. So if I put a first, then I just get Ben, which is the first element with the minimum length. 